Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this lesson, I'm going to go over the main groove from Fool in the Rain by Led Zeppelin. And this is a classic groove that can take some time to get used to, but I'll show you some steps to uh, work your way up to it. You can get the full sheet music of this by Steve Lee on OnlineDrummer.com. There's a lot of cool fills, different uh, variations of the groove in here, so it's really cool. Uh, check it out. I'll start by playing it. Here we have what's called a halftime shuffle, and it's halftime because the backbeat is on what we would consider beat three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now, technically, this song is in 12 8, which means that eighth notes are counted as um, quarter notes would be, and you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But that's hard to, to say. So a lot of people just count this one, a two, a three, a four or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, just like in 4-4 uh, four, four time. And it's considered a shuffle because you've got this pattern on the hi-hat going, that shuffle groove. And I'll play this slowly. To get used to this groove, it can be helpful to take out the ghost strokes and the open hi-hat just at first just to get comfortable with the groove and I'm going to use a modified 4-4 counting one a two a three a four a one a two a three a four the repeating thing throughout this groove is that hi-hat so you know that this is going to be the time if you if you're speeding that up or not playing that pattern you know you're doing it wrong and the bass drum and that snare drum backbeat are going to fall right in line with one of those hi-hat strokes. And then the next step could be to throw in the ghost strokes. One, a two, and a. Uh. And again, I'm using that modified counting. One, a two, and a. Uh. Get used to that. And then add in the three. And then a four, a four and a, a four and a. Go stroke real light. One, a two and a three, a four and a one, a two and a three, a four and. And the ghost strokes fall right in there as if they were triplets. One, a two and a, two and a, two and a, two and a, three, a four and a, four and a, four and. Right in time. And you might have to start that even slower. I mean, there's no shame in playing it. And four and a. And one and. What that does is it allows your body to become used to it and then you'll be able to speed it up and pretty soon you'll be playing it really without thinking about it. If you speed that up, even without the open hi-hat, it's a cool groove. Now with the open hi-hat, one, a two, it closes on two. And that's the only difference. And if you look at the last bar of that line, the beat changes a little bit. One, a two, and a. Uh, the open hi-hat is on that of two. A, uh, four, and a, uh, one. One, a two, and a uh, three, a uh, four. So a three and a four, same thing. A, uh, three, a uh, four, and a uh, one. I'll play that whole line together. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember, you can get the full sheet music for this on OnlineDrummer.com. Take it slow, work your way up to speed, and build that coordination. Check out OnlineDrummer.com for sheet music, drum beats, articles, all kinds of cool stuff. And I will see you next week. Keep drumming.